If I'm sensible enough, I think Real Madrid will win. I'm not going chasing pain like you. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I have enough in my life already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think everyone wants Real, you know, Dortmund to win. We just saw Madrid uh, qualify for the finals, like beating Bayern. Like that was a crazy game, right? Like at Bernabeu, and then like what a finish to that game, like. How do you? How do you like? That's just typical Madrid being Madrid in the Champions League, their DNA, and then like Bayern throwing, not necessarily throwing away, but like, what do you think? I need like, to. I need to give me a second. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I'll say one thing: the entire game, their Bayern's 38-year-old legend goalkeeper was so good, like so good. He, he I went back and saw the highlights and. It was this highlight reel, dude. Like, and how cruel it is that like he had to make that fucking mistake for for the opening to come, right? Like, it just yeah. sometimes you don't think that like there is too much luck in a professional sport like football, but these kind of incidents when they happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh my god. god! You're you're literally what you're literally said? crazy. I know, but you're literally bracing yourself for <laughs> yeah. whatever it is, bro. We we we'll sign the deal with the pain. I'm gonna I'm gonna start a GoFundMe page where we create a half Arsenal, half like Dortmund jersey <laughs> for uh, our beloved uh, yeah. animesh. <laughs> Definitely, please. Thank you. I would love that. <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, Abhinav, do you do you see mm-hmm. where this is going? This guy just likes yeah. pain. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what that, that's Dortmund. that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I think he is basically. I'll tell you. I mean, okay. I think I talked briefly about the 21-22 season. 21 season um, when we lost the Premier League that day. I think one of my very close friends. Uh, he was having a. I mean, he's a Liverpool fan. Uh, he was also watching the match while his wife was kind of giving giving birth to his son. It, it was happening right then and then that happened. So it was painful for him on Champions League. Uh, sorry, on the Premier League. 20, May 22nd, May 28th. Was my birthday when we lost the Champions League final? On my birthday, and it was painful in a lot of ways. And I think AJ, AJ you are basically bracing yourself for all that kind of pain with Borussia Dortmund and Arsenal right now. I don't know what to tell you, man. No. I think I think I think it's not going to happen. No. The thing is, the thing is, we are in a we are in a season where Bayern Leverkusen are going unbeaten. They probably can win three titles more than they have won in their history. <laughs> Arsenal are challenging City to the T. We are we haven't bottled, right? We haven't bottled. There is this no-name club who is in the final of DFB Pokal. I don't even know what the name of the club. I made a reel on it, but like I have no idea what the club's called again. <laughs> FCK something FCK. I've like some second division. Real Madrid are winning. Uh, like you know, they they are basically Barcelona flopped and Girona having a season that they're having. So it's a se- it's a season of. You know, new things. It's an age of, it's a dawn of new era in like the footballing landscape, and it'll be a passing of the guards. I think Royce needs a title, and he will get one this 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 season. So whatever your agenda is, there, keep it to yourself. Be loud about it, but it'll be you guys crying at the end of it, not me. Yeah, man. I think you know how many fairy tales I've believed like this in the last five years <laughs> that this will happen because of Gerard. This will happen because of my birthday. This will happen because of you know no, someone else is kind of going on. <laughs> No, no, no. Klopp, I think Klopp was <laughs> yeah. Klopp wasn't good enough, bro. It wasn't your fault. Klopp was just not good enough to, you know, take you through the final line. I wish you'll have the same level of candor come to June first, because at that point of time, <laughs> no, it's going to be heartbreaking. You won't, you won't see me. I'm, I'm off. <laughs> I'm traveling out of office. Oh my God! Sorry. But he's gonna be hiding brain. behind curtains after. <laughs> but no, no you're, think... like somebody in the chat is saying that your team Dortmund just lost three 0 to Mainz last night. And I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, they are beast on fifth. <laughs> no, they are beast on fifth. They they know they are they are getting the Champions League spot. So why not just play not play with intensity and risk an injury? Yeah. Why would you do that? It's fine. Totally cool. Always ready with an answer, right? For your favorite team. Uh, absolutely. Dude, you follow my teams to the core, so I know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His third team is FCK. Like, check them out. Because <laughs> that's going to be his reaction after seeing all the other teams lose. <laughs> Bro, FCK, I need to... Okay, Kaiser Slautern. It's FC Kaiser Slautern. I'm never going to say that again. Yeah. 
It's all Kaiser. Yeah. <laughs> but like no. all three of you backing Real Madrid. No, no, no one on Dortmund. I mean, I don't have a horse to right? back in this, but if I'm sensible enough, I think Real Madrid will win. I'm not going chasing pain like you. Yep. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I have enough in my life already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think everyone wants Real, you know, Dortmund to win. just for the pure romance of it i i totally get that i mean that's mm-hmm. what it is but it's not going to happen there is no way real is going to lose to dortmund in a final there's no fucking way i mean you won from 03 down at half time things happen in football 03 okay fine i'll give you that i guess <laughs> <laughs> was it was it ancelotti who lost yes it was ancelotti who yeah. lost yeah see <laughs> telling it's funny things have happened in football anything can happen Oh wow! Well, actually, yeah, good. I, I that's a good Madrid parallel. I don't think Madrid losing anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like you, you just saw how uh, like the referee blew the whistle against Bayern, right? When they were just about to score, it's something yeah, like that, that is going to happen. And yeah, I mean, Madrid, Papa Perez has paid off all the referees. See, there, there. I'll tell you, there are fairy tales, and then there is Harry Kane. Right? <laughs> so it wasn't. Right. It wasn't going to happen. It wasn't going to happen. Yeah. This dude. This dude, like the luckiest thing that happened to his career was like Lucas Moura scoring random goals so he can never go to a Champions League final. <laughs> But <laughs> that's it. And then there was Eric Ten Hag on the losing side. And then there's just and, and, so and, much, so much here. <laughs> like it's just unfortunate. And, and and then Saka made sure that he won't get a title like ever in Euros. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> there were two. There were two. United, there were two United players who had the, their part to play. There are no hopes in it. Fine. There are there are no hopes on them. United, United let it go. It's it's not going to happen. But Saka, I mean, I thought no, at no, least, no. bro. But like penalties in a final, like yeah. I mean, everybody missed. Three of them missed. So yeah, whatever. <laughs> at least, at least my boy had the balls to take the fifth penalty. I'll give him that. And miss. Yep. This guy. Okay, that was. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. Like sometimes it's two two silver lining, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you live with bro, that silver medal and bro, silver lining, bro, in your life. Bro, we have we have we have suffered through so much that we have we've been an expert on finding silver linings now. No matter how small it is, we do uh, find it. <laughs> Either, either you, either Arsenal fans. I mean, from my experience with the group, either you are suicidal or there are silver linings. That's it. There is no in between. There is no realism. Like you know, there is nothing where okay, fine. We, this is the first season in Champions League. Let's just kind of live with it. Okay, fine. We've done good. No, that is not. Either you're like half the time suicidal, or that's this is this is the end of the world. We are suckers. We are bottlers. Or we are. This, I, Okay. I think Arsenal fans should start writing like motivational quote books. You know, like they'll 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 do really well and like at least win somewhere in life. Dude, like, no, no, bro. I think you're a cult where they it's... only promote like dark things or like you know <laughs> happy mediums. <laughs> next week, bro. We'll we'll talk next week about winning things. Yeah. So just one thing, one thing about that, uh, you know, talking about these dark things, um, that referee mistake uh, in the Real Madrid Bayern Munich game. I I don't know how someone can do that at this level of football, man. I think, and apparently those those that set of referees, the three people who are uh, who are the officials that day, apparently they are the ones who are really good in all of official. I mean, they won, they officiated the World Cup final. Um, I think all of these high-profile matches, and how can they do that at that stage of the game? It just kind of baffles me. I mean, I I was really trying to see the play the devil's advocate and think about like what could have happened. Mm-hmm. The only rational that I can give out is that the game went too much beyond the added time, and they were in a pressure to like conclude it. I think. I mean, what else could there be? Like I. just absolutely have no idea because um the the reason that's what i was reading to to they had the best officiating record this season in the champions league and of europe right like the 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 referee trio mm-hmm. and 
even post game no one complained too much like there was only two kill and uh, this guy coming out and like crying about it in the presser it just mm-hmm. feels it's it's the strangest thing that happened because like UCL semi final that kind of mistake should be more glorified and mm-hmm. like talked about but it just feels like it faded away don't you don't you guys get that feeling that like somewhere it was like rigged in a sense no No I think the reason why it's I mean yeah Tuchel complained and, and and I think one of Kimmich also Kimmich also complained I guess but the reason why it's not as adverse is because it's not like a penalty which was not given because if you if there was a penalty which they fucked up and they didn't give it there's a good chance there is 75% chance the team's going to score right but this was even if the flag was not what was not raised and even if the play was continued to go on there was no sure shot way of telling or saying that Ben Munich would have scored from that play. And I think that is basically where people are kind of coming to terms with it in a way. I'm like, yeah, th- yeah, mistakes happen. It 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 did happen, but there is no way we can say for sure that kind of th- we deserved or we would have scored from this. I mean, yeah, it kind of got halfway between. Also, I think uh, it's it's a classic case of an argument against VAR where mm-hmm. like people take it as a human error and they're like okay humans make mistakes and move mm-hmm. on but if it had gone to var for example they it got involved and then it wasn't given then people would be a lot more furious i mean like you know you have the technology and it's still not using it properly so maybe the old way of doing things was the right way of doing things and we messed up with var or maybe not because there was this real madrid goal that got chalked off the second goal yeah with var it was given so yeah. you know kind of like both sides to the argument there This is pure human error. I mean, on-field error, basically. I think again, the only thing bad about VR is the implementation or the interpretation of it. It's a tool; you have to use it properly. If you're not efficient enough, if you're not, you know, there, then there's no point. But we But... are in the world of VR. Like, should the referee had like? I mean, referees are told to like wait. Exactly. Like, this is like you can give that decision and, yeah. later. Like you know, after yeah. the play mm-hmm. was. That's what I I really think it was rigged, dude. Like, I can't <laughs> rational against this decision. <laughs> <laughs> that is the answer, bro. AJ is spot on. <laughs> I mean, the referee. Pure corruption. <laughs> <laughs> the referee even went on and apologized to Delict after the match, saying that I made a mistake. Like I have never seen a referee apologize straight up to a player after like something like that yeah. in my life. And and I kind of appreciate that in a way, big because the Premier League fucks they don't even they don't even say anything, they nothing they just kind of go back and say okay who are, and then they if someone speaks out and P P G M L will come back and you know sanction them or something. At least these guys had the balls to acknowledge okay I could have done better I should have done better yeah it is a mistake people are hurt about it but. Yeah, a lot of mistakes have happened in football, right? but it's it's a matter of accountability, and the lack of accountability is basically is what is kind of fucking up PGMOL and the way the refereeing has been in England. At least if you know that you've done a mistake, you'll kind of try to accept it and then move on and correct it. FA, yeah, they accept- is fucked. Yeah, yeah, they come out a month later with like Harvard Web on a glorified platform and be like, okay, yeah, we made this mistake, trying to do better, blah blah, blah blah. But uh, like, and and for some reason, it only happens in Premier League. Like, I've never heard, or I've never probably no, it hasn't been glorified or like brought to attention enough of similar incidents happening in other leagues. It just mm-hmm. does not happen. One happened with Real Madrid again, again money coming into play, <laughs> but <laughs> like, but it was against them, right? You remember it was against them. So it's not a mistake then, right? If money. No, no, it was play. against them though. It was against them where yeah. Bellingham's goal was disallowed. Yeah. Uh, in when referee blew while ball was in the air, something like that happened. So, mm-hmm. apart from that decision, I don't remember anybody, you know, calling out German uh, referees or like Spanish referees or Italian referees. It's it's just the English referees who are not good at it or just don't want to be good at it. It's it's yeah, they're just pathetic. Right. So, um, just to quickly wrap now, um, what are your like? I'm not gonna ask AJ, but what are your <laughs> final predictions on on the game? Like, is it going to be Madrid winning through and through? I think yeah. so. I think it's going to be two zero Madrid. Two nil Madrid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to be three one or two zero Madrid. They're too strong for them. Uh, Dortmund, like they're fifth in the league, and as someone pointed out, in, pointed out in the chat, I think they've lost the last match as well. 
uh, they have not been consistent. And and to be very honest, if you look at the PSG game, how many times did PSG hit the woodwork? Six times, or seven oh times, my, and all that. Six times. So, yeah, exactly. And I think let's see something on on the level of Istanbul. Liverpool 3-0 Liverpool trailing 3-0 and then coming back something on that scale has to happen for Dortmund to win and that's the romanticism everyone's kind of counting on but I'm telling you football there's no romance in football if there was one we would have won a lot more so I I will not <laughs> that's the heartbreak bro AJ look at I mean, the heartbreak on this it, it was romantic for <laughs> other fans like world does not revolve around you Abhinav like <laughs> it has to be romantic <laughs> No, it was okay, not, it, was, it was sadistic. It was sadistic for the other fans. It's yeah. not romantic or anything. It's, it's so that that I get it. Like yeah, see lose. See most of our enjoyment or happiness comes from other teams losing or destruction. I get that. I totally totally do. I'm not saying no. And that's what I derive from you know from United losing to Chelsea after 96 97 minute. Right. Yeah, that that's I exactly is it. I I get it. But to ha- for it to happen repeatedly on that level, on that scale, with all the context and everything, okay, okay, let's let's not talk about Liverpool, right? This one, <laughs> I really want, I really want Dortmund to win. I really, really want them to win. Uh, and I and I think Klopp will attend the match or something. I heard I read a report somewhere, so I think it will be at least a good end of the you know end of the season for him. We were not able to give him a good season, um, so at least good for him to kind of sign off. On that note, in Wembley, I guess in England. So, but I don't see it happening. Two one, two three one, Real Madrid. AJ, where's your optimism now? See, funnier things have happened in football. I've always said this. I think for me to be happy at the end of next week, a lot needs to go in my favor. I get that. Probably won't. But uh, so so is the case with Champions League final. But there's always. <laughs> A Porto, right? There's always a Mourinho. There's always a Porto. There's always a Liverpool. There's always there's always somebody. There's always a Chelsea. There's always a Chelsea who beat uh, Messi missed a penalty, uh, Robin and Ribery missed penalties, and like they won their first Champions League. Porto did it. Liverpool came back from zero three. So I think this is the season where Dortmund, you know, they they'll they'll manage. They'll just do something and they'll they'll get through it, and it'll be two one Dortmund. All of I those mean, things yeah. that you said, AJ, I think they were happen- they didn't happen against Real Madrid. So this is Real Madrid. So I their dark magic, their satanic the satanic forces are much more stronger now. So there is no way. No bro, they are they are your owners. They are not everybody's <laughs> owners. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh I think uh, like I would honestly not mind that much if Dortmund went despite, you know, Sancho being there and um like causing extra pain in my life right now. Yeah, I mean, everybody has seen Madrid win. Like, everybody has seen City win the league so many times right now. But I just don't think it'll happen, sadly. Yeah, it'll be, to be honest, all biases and like, you know, fully in our side, I think it'll be, you need, you need God, like some, you need somebody, (laughs) like, you need like a 13th, 14th person playing for you to win. (laughs) Unless Dortmund you know, pay off too. the refs more than what Perez has done. No, bro, Papa Perez. There's no no money. <laughs> no, nobody has more money than Papa Perez. Yeah. All right, uh, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching the Back Four Live. Um, if you like our content, please like, share, and subscribe this video, and we'll be back with more. <laughs>